Oh, we got it. He missed it. Jeez Louise. Wow. All right, so yeah, I'm at Blackwater today. I'm going after Snakehead. I've had three strikes so far on the Whopper Plopper. This is a small Whopper Plopper. I believe it's a size 90. Rainbow trout pattern. There's some action going down. Thus far, the pattern seems to be uh, top water in the shallows, as I guess is the best way I could describe it. As you can see, I'm using what I would call probably a moderate retrieve with this. Not fast, not slow. And I've had three strikes so far, but they've been short strikes. They haven't uh, like engulfed it. They haven't swallowed this thing. They're striking short, which is really frustrating. Hopefully that uh, <laughs> doesn't hold as a pattern throughout the day. Now what I think I'm going to do is actually go up a little bit shallower and use the fly rod because that fly is smaller than the whopper plopper and slower. I think I might have a better chance of getting him to actually engulf the bait. Got him that time though. Got him that time. Yes. Got you, snake. I got you, little snake. Got her. And there she is. First fish of the day <laughs> on the intro. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I forgot. I knew I forgot something. I forgot my hammer. Oh, it's going to make putting this thing on a stringer a real chore. A real chore. Okay. Now, if this one gets away, honestly, I wouldn't be all that upset. It's a little guy. But, you know, all the same, I wouldn't mind taking her home. Because if you haven't had snakehead before, they are excellent, excellent, excellent table fare. At least as good as striped bass, in my opinion. Very firm, white meat. Just delicious. Absolutely delicious. But this hook is, uh, is really in there. Just before I netted this fish, I was like, you know what? Maybe I should use the lip grippers because this is a treble hook and it's going to make a big mess. <laughs> But I didn't heed that silent warning within my own head. If he gets away, I'm not going to be surprised at all. <laughs> not at all. Just trying to get to one of these fish on the stringer when you haven't bashed him over the head. I mean, I, I guess I could punch him in the head. I guess I could do that. I don't really want to, but I could. Oh, he's getting ready to flip. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> and that's snakehead fishing. That is snakehead fishing. That's all right. Though. I really didn't want to keep that guy anyway. It's kind of... I mean, don't get me wrong. He would have yielded some nice fillets, but I didn't really want to keep that one. Not really. All right. Let's get back to it. Oh, man. I thought I had the video on. I just got this nice little chunk on the fly. Pretty little bass. Nice and healthy. Look at the thickness in her. Uh, people think that the snakehead are decimating bass populations. It's just not true, man. The emerging literature just says it's not true, and I tell you, my anecdotal experience has the same. All right, little buddy. There you go. Thank you. So thus far... Is that a snake? It was some kind of fish. Whoop. Got him! Oh, it's a nice one! Oh, it's a nice one. Come on, Ned. Oh, it's a real nice one. Holy crap. Get in there. Oh, I missed him. Oh, he swallowed it too. Come on, big girl. Get in that net. Yes. God dang. Now that's what we're here for. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're here for. I'm going to have to punch the crap out of him because I left my hammer at home. Christ! Oh, he wrapped my reel up. Oh, there's nothing left to keep him in there. Punching time. Thank you for your sacrifice. Woo! Gosh darn. Oh, man. Oh, buddy, buddy, buddy. This fishing is on fire today. On fire! Yeah! <laughs> Boy, this fishing's on fire today. See how that jaw just kind of opened? 
with nothing but a little bit of pressure from my finger that lets you know without the shadow of a doubt that while he might not be dead I don't think I killed him I definitely knocked him out what I say what did I say <laughs> said I'm gonna come around this corner it's gonna be snakehead and birds <laughs> oh today is gonna be a good one today is gonna be a good one let's get a good shot of this gorgeous snake look at that that's a solid what 26 yeah about 26 inches or so great fish great fish thank you look at that there's a shot for you man oh, oh, oh yes sir today is going to be a good day that's two snakes and one bass already Now, I'm small time, so I doubt they'd be interested. But if they were, would I rep the Booyah Poppin' Frog? You are damn right I would. Now, that snakehead, I'm pretty sure I saw him and casted to him. I'm sure you probably saw that on the video. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, Jesus! Fish on! Fish on! I'm not sure what it is yet. It kind of hit like a bass. It's fighting like a bass, too. Nah, it might be a snake. It might be a snake. Nah, it's, those are head shakes of a snake. Those are the head shakes of a snake. Now, I'm going to try and get the lip grippers on this one. Because I'm using trebles again. And I don't want trebles in the net again. That comes, it becomes a real pain in the butt. But it looks like his mouth is pretty well closed. I'm going to have to use the net. Son of a gun. Okay. Dude, th did I tell you this fishing's on fire? Did I tell you it's on fire? Did I tell you? Oh, oh Right at the boat. Son of a... <laughs> Son of a Okay. All right. Time to get serious, folks. <laughs> it is time to get serious. I am not down for losing fish all day. That's two snakehead already that I've essentially landed and then lost. I got him that time. Oh, he is all wrapped up. He's all wrapped up. There she is. That's number four. Number four, and I've been fishing for like, what, a half an hour, 45 minutes? There she is. Numero dos on the stringer anyway. That's the fourth fish I've caught. But it's only gonna be my second fish on the stringer. <laughs> no, correction. That's the fourth snakehead I've caught. And only gonna be my second on the stringer. see that? Did you see that? That was a snake. Oh! Hey, no, Heron, no! No, Heron! No, Heron! No, Heron! God, Heron! No! Get out of here! You idiot! The last thing I want to fight off my hook. Giant bird with a sword for its mouth. Idiot. You about the dumbest hair and I ever met. Like you don't know what to, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, you idiot. Get the out of here. Man, herons are usually smarter than that. What a idiot. So everything you've seen here thus far is just a it's just the first part of day one, put it that way. It's the first few minutes of this trip. I mean, the fishing was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. These fish were going bananas. Look at them. <laughs> oh, they were smashing out there. Oh, I mean, between my friends and I, we caught well over 50 snakehead on the day. And by caught, I mean landed. I mean, I caught 20 personally to myself. And those numbers don't count the number I lost the number of blow-ups I mean these fish were hungry look at that what a beautiful stringer <laughs> and even a carp I accidentally snagged him but just an incredible day on the water I mean these these are the kind of days we fish for <laughs> such a good time look at him <laughs> slippery sucker but yeah gear descriptions in the comments 
I'll have the rest of the videos released shortly, so keep an eye out for them, because it gets much better with much bigger fish. <laughs> Alright, have a good one everybody.